hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in this video we are going to study how to convert a given hexadecimal number into its equivalent uh, decimal form in my previous video we discussed the decimal to hexadecimal conversion so now we'll discuss the hexadecimal to decimal conversion process so for that let us consider or take an a hexadecimal number let us say <coughs> 2 8 a h ok this is h is for hexadecimal it means that the given number is in hexadecimal form now for that we know that uh, a hexadecimal number ok let us say the point is here, the hexadecimal point is here and 0. This uh, symbol A which is 10, it has a weight value of 16 to the power 0. Okay? We know that just to the left of the point, the weight value starts from power 0 with the power of the base or radix starts from 0. Next, this 8, it has a weight value of base or radix to the power 1, which is 16 to the power 1. Next, it has a power that is base or radix to the power 2, that is 16 to the power 2, this 2. So, to convert this hexadecimal number 28a into decimal form, what we do is that we multiply the respective digits with the weight values, that is 2 into 16 to the power 2 plus 8 into 16 to the power 1 plus 10 into 16 to the power 0. This is equal to, let me calculate 16 into 16, 256, 2 into 256 plus this is 128 I think, 128 yes plus 10 this will be 512 plus 128 plus 10 so this will be around uh, 640 512 plus 128 500 plus 100 600 is 640 650 640 plus 10 650 so this is the decimal form okay 28 ah in decimal, it can be written as 650, okay. So, this is the decimal representation of the hexadecimal number 28A. Let us consider another uh, hexadecimal number which will convert it into decimal form. Let us say 1 f 0 h okay into decimal form this f means it's 15 in hexadecimal f stands for 15 hexadecimal is an alphanumeric code i have already discussed about the basic concepts related to hexadecimal number system in a separate video so you please check out that so now we have to convert this into decimal form so we'll do the same thing will multiply the given hexadecimal number with the respective digits with the respective weight values. This has a weight value of 16 to the power 0, 0. F has a weight value of 16 to the power 1 and uh, this 1, it has a weight value of 16 to the power 2. So, it will be 1 into 16 to the power 2 plus F or 15 into 16 to the power 1 plus 0 into 16 to the power 0. So, it is equal to 256 okay, plus this is actually 15 into 16. Okay, 15 into 16. This is equal to 240 plus 0. It is equal to 49 in decimal form.
So, this 1 F 0 is actually 4 9 6 in decimal form. So, we did what we did is that we multiplied the respective weight values associated with each digit and we added those values. This is the same thing which we did in binary to decimal, octal to decimal. So, we multiplied the respective weight values which is dependent on the position and the base or radix of that system and we added those values. So, we get the respective decimal number. Now, uh, suppose we have to convert a fractional uh, hexadecimal number into decimal form. So, let us also see that how we can do that. Okay. Let us take a fractional uh, number in hexadecimal system. Okay. So, let us take point 0 0.733 h. Now, we know that to the right of the hexadecimal point, okay, to the right of the hexadecimal point, this point, the weights, they have negative power values of the base or radix. So, this 7, it will have a weight value of 16 to the power minus 1. This 3, it will have a weight value of 16 to the power minus 2. And this 3, it will have a weight value of 16 to the power minus 3. So, we will do the same thing. We will multiply the respective digits according to their positions with the weight values. That is, uh, 7 into 16 to the power minus 1 plus 3 into 16 to the power minus 2 plus 3 into 16 to the power minus 3, which is equal to uh, 0.43 plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.007. So, this is about 0 0.447 in decimal form. Okay. So, we simply did is that we multiplied the respective digits to the weight values and in this case to the right of the hexadecimal point the powers have negative values means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 with respect to their base or radix which is in this case is 16. So, we multiplied the digits with the respective weight values that is 7 with 16 to the minus 1, 3 with 16 to the minus 2 and 3 again with 16 to the minus 3 and we added the results to get the decimal value equivalent to the fractional hexadecimal number. So, here we have discussed the process of conversion of a hexadecimal number to its decimal equivalent form including both whole and fractional numbers in hexadecimal system. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.